If you're watching this video right now because you find yourself worrying and you don't really know how to get out of it, maybe you feel desperate or sad and it is just really hard for you to disconnect, then I am really glad that you're stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with you a couple of my favorite tools that I use when I find myself in a state of worry about things that are maybe outside of my control, no matter if it is a person or an event or a situation. And and I really hope that one of these tools will resonate with you and you will be able to get out of that kind of very cycle. So without further ado, I would say let's get started. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Julia Arndt and I'm a peak performance coach and stress management trainer and I want to talk with you today about how to live a less worried life. I think that there is not a very free life because obviously there are things in our lives that are important for us and as soon as things are starting to be important for us sometimes we worry about it no matter if it is a person or our work or a situation that's just happened to you and you find yourself not being able to disconnect from that thought I totally can relate to you I totally know how it feels I you know am just a human being as well and even though I'm a stress management coach I sometimes find myself in a state of worry and I have a hard time to get out of it so this really made me create this video for you because I find it really helpful to just have a couple of different tools at hand that I can use in order to help myself get out of that state of worry so without further ado, I would say let's jump into the first tool that I want to share with you today. Okay, and now that I adjusted the lighting, let's jump into the first tool. And the first tool that I want to share with you today is the tool to distract yourself. And this might come as a surprise to you because usually people tell you to not distract yourself and to look at your problems and to deal with your problems. And I totally agree with that in a way. However, we both know, you and I know, that if you are finding yourself in a constant state of worry and you cannot disconnect, because you have one negative thought after another and you can't break that cycle, it can be really powerful to actually take some time to distract yourself and completely disconnect from the thoughts that you're having at the moment. Because sometimes this is not how we are finding a solution to our problems. So distraction can be really powerful in order to just let go of the thought for a while and then look at it with fresh eyes, get a new perspective, right? And when we are talking about distraction, it is really important to talk about disconnecting and how to properly do that because sometimes we think we do something different or we distract ourselves but we actually don't really do it the right way so let's talk about how to distract yourself the right way for a second and it is really important that when you are distracting yourself and disconnecting from a situation that you cognitively completely disconnect that you psychologically interrupt the thought process that you currently have and that can only happen if you're doing something that requires your full attention so there is something to be said about novelty. You need to do something that's new for you or that's difficult for you, that really requires your full attention and focus because only then will you at some point realize that you are actually not thinking about that thing anymore that you have been thinking about and worrying about. And so that can be a lot of different things. For example, if you, for example, like to cook spaghetti and meatballs, that is not a good way to distract yourself because you have done it so many times in your life that you don't really have to use all of your brain power in order to focus on making a dinner or making that specific meal. So if you like to cook and if that is something that you would like to do in order to distract yourself, find a new recipe. Do something new that requires your full focus and attention, where you have to read all of the ingredient lists, where you maybe have to go shopping and you have to focus on, okay, what do I need to get done? What do I need to buy? And then obviously go through the process of cooking the meal as well, all right? Or if you like to exercise in order to distract yourself and you are a runner and you like to go for runs on a regular basis then it is not going to be enough to just go for a run in order to distract yourself or to disconnect from the thoughts that you have you might even find it even harder to disconnect and I totally can relate to that because I have done that many times in my life before so in order to completely disconnect you need to 
For example, either do something completely different. So either you have to go for a bike ride instead of a run, or you need to really push yourself and you need to go so hard that your body and mind starting to focus 100% on that specific exercise, okay? Another thing is to pick up a new hobby or really do something that you have not done before in order to, again, distract yourself and completely use your full attention and focus to kind of go into that new task, okay? So that is a way to distract yourself. And I find that honestly, sometimes really necessary in order to disconnect from that negative thought cycle that I was in before. The second tool that I want to share with you is to go outside in nature. This is something that always honestly helps me to disconnect and to find new perspectives. And I always have to think of my sweet grandma that always told me that going outside in nature and moving your body is really, really powerful when you're finding yourself in a cycle of worry. Because let's be honest, oftentimes we are kind of sitting and being stuck at home when we are in this worry state. We are in the same environment and so it can be really, really helpful to change your environment and to go outside or to go somewhere else maybe you really want to go to a bookstore or you want to go um, to a coffee shop or something that really requires again your full attention okay so going outside in nature always helps me to just take a few deep breaths and just realize that you know I am just this little speck in this beautiful big world and the worry or the problem that I currently have is definitely figure outable in the long run. So going outside in nature is definitely one of my favorite tools and I do it all the time in order to move my body, take a few deep breaths, change my environment and with that change my perspective as well. The third tool that I personally love to do in order to let go of worry thoughts is to journal. You know that I talk about this all the time. There are hundreds of videos probably at this point on my YouTube video where I talk about how to journal, what to journal, journaling prompts, right? What I do, what is my process? How do I start journaling? I have all these different kinds of videos on my YouTube channel. And honestly, journaling is one of the most powerful tools that helps me to gain again perspective and maybe find some answers to my problems as well. And if you are not really a person that is journaling, you might find it super difficult to get into journaling or to sit down and open a planner or open a journal and just start to write down. And maybe you wonder, I don't even know what to write down first. So that's what I want to get with you into for a few minutes here. Um, so when I start to be super worried, when I recognize that I actually have a lot of these very thoughts, then I, sometimes have to force myself even though i am super big into journaling i do still have to force myself sometimes as well to be like okay i'm just going to intentionally take five or ten minutes and i'm just going to write down all of the thoughts that i have so you know sometimes it helps me to just dis describe the situation so what is going on right now what am i worried about and then as i'm starting to write it really helps me to to find new questions or answers to the problem that I have. And sometimes it is simply just that act of writing things down that makes me feel a little bit lighter and that helps me to let go of the things that I can't control. And so I really hope that you will try out journaling because as I said, this is one of my favorite tools and something that I constantly do in my life in order to let go of the things that worry me. Um, I went through a pretty difficult time over the last two years and I can't tell you how much journaling helped me through that process. So I really hope that if you have never tried journaling, that this is your encouragement to try it out to sit down you know create a nice comfortable space for yourself maybe put on a candle um, put on your sweater or some PJs that you feel really comfortable in put on some nice music and then just start to write and see what comes up for you the next tool that I want to share with you when it comes to creating a more very less life is to talk to someone and I specifically don't say talk to a therapist or talk to a mentor or talk to a coach because it doesn't always have to be a professional I think it can be a friend a family member a colleague a, a leader no matter who it is and it can obviously as well be a therapist or a coach but um, no matter who it is 
I think just go with your intuition and see who do you really want to talk to right now? Who do you feel like could lighten the load a little bit? Sometimes we like to speak to people that are a little bit more mature or older, that have maybe more life experience and that can lend a helping hand or a thought that you haven't considered before. Or sometimes I just find it super helpful to talk to someone that I know will make me laugh and will just bring some lightness into maybe that heavy state that I currently feel in. And that is really something that always helps because oftentimes when we are in this negative thought cycle pattern, we also feel kind of lonely. Maybe we are sitting alone at home and we have nothing else to do and so we're just going down this rabbit hole of thinking about all of these negative things that um, we are worried about right now. So talk to someone. We are social human beings and sometimes all we need is to talk to a friend or to talk to our mom or dad or grandma in order to feel like, hey, you know, what I'm currently going through is not the end of the world and it will resolve itself. Oftentimes things resolve themselves. Um, and you know, I have other videos where I talk about, hey, focus on the things that you can control and not the things that you can't control or just accept what is given, right? And I know that in that specific state, it's not always helpful to hear that. So instead of really, um, yeah, instead of just doing these things, instead of going into the these specific tools that can absolutely also be super helpful just distract yourself go outside in nature and so on and that brings me to the last tool that i want to share with you today which is listen to a podcast or a book or read a book this is something that i oftentimes do as well and i actually honestly like to combine some of the tools that i shared with you today so oftentimes i go outside in nature i move my body and i am listening to a new podcast episode or a book that i'm feeling really inspired towards and that really helps me to distract myself and to get into a different state of mind because oftentimes again when we're in this not negative thought pattern we think oh like this is the end of the world and I don't really know how to get out of this and then just another kind of input or something motivational inspirational can really help you find more clarity and find more perspective i find that super powerful and i do have a podcast i do have a lot of really powerful beautiful interview guests that i am talking to every single week so i invite you to check out my podcast if you are watching this right now or obviously there are so many other podcasts and audiobooks out there that are so, so powerful. I do have a book review um, video. I think there are definitely videos about my book reviews for this year because I am <laughs> I was planning to read a book every month this year but I haven't been really consistent with that for the last two months so I'm a little bit behind however I do have a video as well on my favorite self-development books and I really highly encourage you to check that one out because those are my favorite books that I keep going back to when I am feeling in a state of worry and when I feel like I can't get out of it because they just help me to get that perspective that I need in the moment. They are kind of like always applicable to anything in life. So yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope that you found maybe one of these things helpful and I really hope that you're not just sitting here right now and that you're listening to this video and that you're going back to feeling depressed or feeling sad and anxious or worried. I hope that you are taking one of these tools and you are starting to take action because that is really what makes the difference between staying stuck in that worried state and starting to get out of it. If you have any other tools that you like to use in order to worry less, let me know in the comments down below. I would always really appreciate um, hearing from you and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I really do hope to see you in the next one. So take care of yourself and I talk to you really soon.